Hello and welcome to our annual video of when to expect your first snowfall. We're going to start with the will get snow layer here and move on. We are going to be reviewing our third winter forecast as well so we can kind of talk about the differences that might be in place. A lot of this snowfall has already happened and that is the current projection. So keep that in mind as we roll through with this. Obviously, if it's you, you know you expect to see snowfall before uh, October, then obviously that is already passed, but we're just going to walk through it anyway with you guys as this is one that we upload every single year. Be sure to check out Prestige Weather in the description and pinned comment down below. We do have access to our snowfall forecast where we'll be talking about who could see above normal or below normal snowfall. That is available up there for only $5 a month, so be sure to check it out in the pinned comment and description down below, we also do consulting services, among other things, so it's definitely something you should check out today. Starting out with our first layer, like I talked about, will get snow. So these are the areas that will get snow. If you're underneath this, this doesn't mean that you for sure won't see snow. It just means on average you won't. But as we know, the weather is never average. The average comes from you know years and years and years of data, but the mean average of all of it has never even happened before so keep that in mind you could see snowfall even if you're outside of this and you could not see snowfall even if you're inside of this so that's definitely something to note but this is the norms and that's mostly what this video is about anyway as we get into our second layer we'll get snow before january so uh definitely all of these areas in here will get snowfall either in december november october or september so before january the remaining white areas there it's going to be after January 1st on average. So keep that in mind for a lot of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, western regions of Tennessee, northern Georgia, northern South Carolina, and even the eastern two-thirds of North Carolina there. That is the area that we're watching for snowfall happening mostly after New Year's. Let's add another layer here, and this is your will get snow before mid-December which means the remaining light blue area that extends through a lot of Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, Southern Illinois, portions of Kentucky, Tennessee, North Carolina, Central Virginia, up into the Delmarva, Southeastern Pennsylvania, and Southern New Jersey. All of those light blue areas, we expect to see their first snowfall in the second half of December. So sometime between December 15th and the very end of December is on average when they would see their first snowfall the remaining kind of ocean blue area is before mid-december so we're getting pretty darn close actually to now so let's take a look at this the darkest blue area will get snow before december the remaining kind of medium blue now left on screen is sometime between december 1st and december 15th so we see a lot of kansas in there missouri illinois indiana ohio northern kentucky portions of west virginia overall that appalachian mountain range kind of area very far southern new england new york city's in there as well so we see some pretty big areas in there and that's again between december 1st and december 15th when we expect to see our first snowfall in those areas. But like I said, the remaining darkest blue area will get snow before December on average. So that's some point in November, October, or September there. Let's go ahead and add another layer here. The magenta will get snow before mid-November. So that means this remaining dark blue area is at some point between November 15th and the very end of November. We see bigger cities in there like Cleveland, Detroit, Chicago, Boston, so bigger areas for sure in here. And again, that's going to be at some point between November 15th and the very end of November. So we are knocking on the doorstep for these areas, to say the least. Certainly, uh, we are extremely close to this. Nearly, we are at this time frame. Now, as we go ahead and add another layer, this is your will get snow before November. So obviously that area is, all, is already said and done on average as we are already approaching the midpoint of November. But the remaining magenta area is the area that in this time of year that we're in right now should be seeing their first snowfall at some point. So that goes for a lot of the northern plains, the areas outside of the Rocky Mountains, but pretty darn close there, Idaho, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Montana, even areas in the mountainous west closer to the Pacific like Washington, Oregon, California, even western regions of Nevada. 
getting closer. We can see areas along the Appalachian Mountain Range into northern New England also in here. The pinks, again, is your will get snow before November at all, so that's at some point during September or October. Let's add our final layer here, and this is your will get snowfall before October is your red area. So the pink areas should have seen their first snowfall at some point between the beginning and the end of October, which has already come to an end, obviously. Now, if you haven't seen your snowfall, that means you are later than normal right now. And if you have, then that means you are probably right on schedule, unless it was sometime significantly earlier than this. But that is our when to expect your first snowfall. Now, let's dive into the winter forecast, the updated one, because I want to talk about things that could change this uh, average and, and push us towards sooner than average or later than average or perhaps right on time. The northwest into the Rockies is expected to be drier than normal overall. That extends into the northern plains. Uh, so certainly that probably doesn't encourage snowfall by any means, if anything discourages. The southwest is expected to pick up in activity. Keep in mind that it's been the opposite of this out west for a couple of months now. But for the wintertime, all of our analogs, all El Ninos, and basically all of the models at this point all point towards above average precipitation in the southwest, below average precipitation in the northwest. Does that mean it's for sure going to happen? Absolutely not. But we do think that that likely will be the case. As you extend from Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, and Oklahoma eastward into the deeper southeast and then up the east coast, we certainly expect above average precipitation for a lot of these different areas here in the eastern coast of the united states so up and down that east coast and this is likely as a result of these frequent nor'easters that we see in el nino pattern so something like this is more in par with what we expect drier conditions for the northwest as we don't have a pretty common storm track through there uh, now let's go ahead and take take a look here at the temperature pattern obviously warmer temperatures like we see out west here discourage snowfall so more likely to see a later snowfall than normal out here Colder temperatures, you guessed it, encourage snowfall. If you see colder temperatures, there's more chance you're below freezing. If you're below freezing, that precipitation would be snowfall. So this is an area that we're giving a check mark to could see sooner than average snowfall. Anybody could, but according to our forecast, these are the areas where it's more or less likely to happen. So keep that in mind. Uh, these are all just projections, and these have been made a couple of weeks ago already as we released them to Prestige Weather a few weeks ago. And we do have a final winter forecast on the way for the very end of the month, so keep that in mind. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. We do upload daily weather videos just like this one, so be sure to subscribe. You can even hit the bell icon for daily notifications when we upload so you never miss one be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video